Tropical Elite believes in the premium all-inclusive club bed resort experience so much that three members of staff, Lucy, Beth and Becky, all recently took their own holidays in Club Med's latest resort, Club Med Mania Marbella in Spain, Costa del Sol. I caught up with the trio to gain insights into their overall experiences of the resort, as well as any tips and advice they would offer to potential visitors. Welcome to the first instalment of the new Travel Club Elite podcast. Joining me are three staff members who recently had the opportunity to visit Club Med's Costa del Sol Resort and wish to share their experiences and any tips and advice they may have for anyone visiting the resort. Uh, just to introduce each staff member. So we have Beth, Becky and Lucy. If you'd all like to um, briefly introduce yourself and introduce your role in the company as well. Hi, I'm Beth. I've been with the company for two years. I'm a senior travel consultant at Travel Club Elite and I've got over 30 years experience in travel. Hi, I'm Becky and I work in the digital marketing department um, and I've been with Travel Club Elite for about three years now, but I did work for them for a little while ago as well. Hi, I'm Lucy. Um, I'm a senior travel consultant also. I've been with the company just over a year um, and I've worked in travel for about five years now. That's great. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. So just to begin with, I'm going to start with you, Beth. Uh, what were your first impressions of the resort when you first arrived? Um, I was actually blown away. It's such a beautiful resort. It's a large building. Um, and when you get to resort from the, the transfers that um, are waiting for you at the airport, you're met by members of staff who take away your luggage. Um, they show you into the reception area, which is enormous and it's beautifully decorated in lovely hues of green and blue. It's just really lovely. And there's a fountain there as well. It's just great. And they show you to um, a, a nice seating area so you can relax and they offer you a drink. And then they just tell you all about um, what to expect from your holiday. Yeah, and just uh, moving on to you, Lucy. Um, so when you were arriving to the resort, how did Club Med simplify your kind of check-in experience do you think? So there is a pre um an easy arrival service which you can then log on three days before this also helps if you wanted to register your children into any of the clubs um any check-in services anything um and it's really smooth when you actually get to the resort it's really good as well because you, you, it's got your app on there um it's it's basically like your guide for the for your stay which is a really good idea and it really helps with dress codes and booking spas and um reservations things like that yeah, that's good to hear that's good to hear um just moving on to you becky as well now so do the resort activities kind of live up to your expectations and when you were there were there a range of kind of bookable and non-bookable activities that you could join um at the resort um, yeah, there was a huge variety of um, activities that you could do. Um, there was tennis was a really big thing. Um, there was all sorts of tennis. There was um, tennis, and it got like ten courts there. There was padel tennis, table tennis. There was golf. There was an archery range, uh, basketball, volleyball. You could sign up for running sessions. Uh, there was fitness classes, um, yoga classes. There's even um, a circus school. Um, but when I was there, I actually tried the golf out. So I did the intermediate golf lessons, which I booked on for, um, where there was a golf pro, uh, well, two golf pros, actually, who were able to help us when we were on the range um, to actually improve our swings a bit. And then we, we could actually, and we did actually, try out the um, free golf access so that we could actually use we use the putting green ourselves and also the sand bunker to practice our sand wedges and things um and, and the range as well there's that there's lots more as well i mean there's five pools as well there and um, there was a zen pool for adults only and um, so that was quite nice you don't have to book into that or anything um, there's a gym which i think beth tried um, there was uh, water aerobics on every day, which you could just roll up and join. Um, so, yeah, I think in terms of expectations of activities, there was absolutely loads to do. 
and um, yeah, and yeah, just on that as well, how would you summarise the end of entertainment, entertainment and, and kind of what was on after before, before you went to went dinner, to for dinner, example? Um, just before dinner, um, we would go to get all dressed up um, for the theme night that was on, and we would go down and we'd have drinks in the Rouge Bar, um, and we would listen to um, live music, which was the Club Med um, house band each evening, and they would do all sorts of like um, music from different um, eras. Um, some of it uh, in French, I think some of it was in Spanish, and some was in English as well. <laughs> so there was a bit of everything for everybody. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to come to you, Lucy, again. Um, I just wanted to ask you, like, is it suitable for like families, couples, um, anyone really? Who would you say it's suitable for? This I think it's. I think it's suitable for everyone and, every, you know, every type of customer that would like to go. Couples, families, young families, um, groups of people, group of friends. Um, I've definitely seen um, lots of young families. Um, the kids' clubs were really good and the entertainment for the children um, and couples. So it's definitely got something for everyone. Um, and yeah, Beth, back to you. I was just wondering, was there a range of food and drinks uh, available to all guests and did it cater to everyone's needs, uh, the restaurants on, oh. on the resort? Yeah, so the main restaurant is a buffet restaurant, but um, it's got lots of different stations. Um, so for, um, let me say, I'll talk about the evening meal, you'd go down and there'd be some, there's always a chef there or a couple of chefs cooking food to order, like um, a pork or, or steak. Then there's a pasta se section, there's a big salad bar. There's also um, pre-plated um, starters, if you prefer to have that rather than going to the salad bar. Um, there's so many, so much choice. And there's even an area where they've got um, baby food area and it's all food that's cooked without salt, which is really good for people with young children. Um, and then, of course, there's the desserts. Um, there's cheese and biscuits, but the desserts were amazing. And there's an ice cream area with, oh, I don't know, it must have been about 20 different flavours. Um, and it was just lovely food. It was really good quality. I was so impressed. You know, it was excellent. Yeah, it's great to hear. And uh, just... Just to conclude, um, what would your final piece of advice be to anyone visiting the resort, the Marbella Resort? Um, well, it's just really, really good for anybody. Um, as Lucy's already said, it's great for couples, excellent for um, people with little children because it's an excellent children's club with nannies. Um, it's just a lovely resort. I think it's it's definitely um, a lovely place in the world to go and visit. Um, there's lots of places, lots of trips to do outside of the hotel. Um, you've got Rhonda as well, which they did day trips that you can book through the app as well. Um, they've also got May House where I went to school <laughs> and lived for over 10 years. So there's there's lots there's lots of places to visit um, and lots of history. You can even go for a day in Gibraltar, which isn't too far from Marbella as well. So, you know, not just in the hotel, but lots of trips um, outside. So on the back of that, for people who don't want to go, because that's excellent, isn't it? But <clears throat> it does cater for those people who want to go and see other parts of, of um, the surrounding area. But there is so much, as Becky's already said, there's so much to do. I even got my husband to do the water aerobics and he was a bit reluctant at first, but he had a great time. It was really, really fun. So, the, you know, you can have a great holiday there you don't have to go off you can there's so much to do anything is you put on weight <laughs> <laughs> I saw those pastries that as well that, um, <laughs> if you like golf it's a great place to go because um there's 20 resort at golf clubs or courses nearby and the concierge desk will book them, them so that you can actually go and arrange transport there and back so it's great if you like golf as well Thanks for all your input, guys. Um, if you wanted to read their full blog article piece, you can access this on our Travel Club Elite website. And if you're interested in booking um, with Club Med Barbea, you can access the selection of holidays on our website also. If you would like to book Club Med Mania Marbella with exclusive savings, or if you would like to ask Lucy, Beth or Becky a question, call free 
at 0800 707 6229 or visit our website at www.travelclubelite.com and send us your inquiry. Be sure to also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter using the handle at Travel Club Elite and keep track of our upcoming episodes on Spotify.